My comrades and fellow Barbadians, allow me to begin by thanking all those who voted for me, all those who canvassed with me, and all those who provided the financing for the New Dawn for Democracy campaign. I am very grateful. And what a campaign we ran. In a few months, we created unprecedented visibility, energy, and engagement around the Democratic Labour Party. And in the process, we also gave hope to those who thought that the spirit of democracy and the voice of the people had been vanquished. Hope springs eternal. But what a contest we faced. I didn't anticipate going up against three adversaries, the leader of our party, the leader of our country, and sections of the media. And while I accept that politics is a contact sport, I didn't expect the rules of play, fair play to have been disregarded completely. But c'est la vie. While the loss hurts because of the way it came about, for the sake of the unity of our party, I offer my concession. However, I will never lose my audacity of courage or stop believing in fighting for what is right. There is a saying in Latin, vox populi, vox dei, which translates, the voice of the people is the voice of God. This non-biblical, yet time-honored democratic tradition speaks to the desire for the orderly transfer of power and authority by abiding by the will of the people. As a Christian and Democrat, I subscribe to such and wish the leadership of the DLP well. I say this in all sincerity. Persons have been asking what my plans are for the future politically. At this moment, I can't speak definitively, for just as the Spirit bade me go Good Friday last, I will continue to walk by faith, not by sight. However, know that in the short term, I have some personal matters to attend to, and during this period, I will be modulating my statements on matters of national concern so as to allow the DLP leadership to speak with a single voice, and I expect energized and amplified voice on the vision and strategy that they have for us as a party and a country. However, I assure you that I remain committed to our nation and the Democratic Labour Party, regardless of wherever I am or whatever I am doing, my heart and my head will always be with Barbados. May the Lord bless you all and continue to be the people's guide.